Hi, I'm Dr. Joan Friedman. Welcome to Twin Tuesday. I was thinking today about this idea of twin expectations. I've been dealing with a number of clients um, who are examining their twinship and coming to the realization that they're sisters and they love each other, but they don't share these sort of magical, mystical ideas that <clears throat> they're soulmates and they're best friends and they're completely attuned to one another and they know how to take care of each other. They've come more to the realization that they're two very different adults. They have different personalities, different temperaments, different needs. And if one is hoping to recreate or find or establish this very special twinship with her sister, and her sister is not that kind of personality, is not going to fulfill the expectations of her twin in terms of being a very attuned and a very attentive and loving sister, according to her twin's expectations, then they eventually have to get to the point where they can accept that they're twins and they're sisters, but they're so very, very different in terms of how their personalities are organized that they can't expect one another to fulfill roles that neither of them um, can fulfill because it's not what their personalities are. For example, one twin really craves that her sister be this attentive, attuned other. And her sister tells her, you know, I feel like I could never be that person. I would never be enough. I don't think about things the way you do. I don't feel about things the way you feel. I have much more of a philosophy of things happen, I'm over it. And you like to go over and over things ad nauseum, and it's just not who I am. And if forever I'm going to disappoint you because I can't be who you need me to be or want me to be, then we aren't going to be able to establish our connection based more on the reality of who we both are and what we really can provide for one another. And I think oftentimes in twinships that there is this sort of distorted idea, expectation about how they're supposed to be with each other. And, you know, life happens, personalities develop, differences come, divergences exist. And it's so much more important to try to create space in both twins' minds about the fact that these are adult twins, they're not children anymore. They are now needing to see one another through an adult lens and not through a childhood experience lens. And when you're able to do that and you're able to sort of mourn what you wish you had or what you did have, and then sort of deal more with the reality of the situation and how the distinct personalities are going to define the, the twinship, then you're much more able to become accepting and loving toward your twin because you have a different new set of definitions and criteria for how your relationship is going to be going forward. So thank you very much and I'll see you next Tuesday, bye.